G'day guys, welcome back to this edition, the round 21 edition of our Game Day Squad update. Of course, my team is getting a little bit better each week. Obviously, if you've been following up till now, I've invested in my team slowly. Got a Taranto recently, that was beautiful. Mind you, I don't think you had a really good week on the track, but we're gonna go through all of that and uh, have a look at how my team did. We're gonna open some more packs. We're gonna talk about who's going well in the competition. But most importantly, if you haven't already, guys, make sure you check out the top link in the description of this video, which will link you straight to Game Day Squad and you can join in all the fun action. It is the best fantasy style AFL game out there. I've completely stopped playing all the other ones that I used to play because this one is so much more fun and so much more engaging and you can build for the long term, which is what we've been doing all season. So do yourselves a favor, do the channel a favor, hit the link in the description and make a team and just join the True Footy League. There is an invite code in the description too. But anyway, let's crack straight into it and just go through who are all the leaders. Peanut Butters is still leading the competition, absolutely dominating this year with uh, about 4,500 points, more so than the second opponent. We've got 139 in the league, guys, which is great. Let's try and get that to 150 pretty soon. Uh, let's go through who won the round this, this week. And in round 20, it was Plaps. I did shout that out in just the tip. So well done, Plaps. And we'll go, that was the classic competition. We'll go to the champion competition, which is the open one. Doesn't have a salary cap. Free Tate, this guy's dominating. Free Tate and Macho's Magicians have been very, very strong this year. Plaps is in third there. That's impressive because he is also in the capped competition, which means that he is playing with a lower salary cap than the two above him, I think. And the overall season leader for the uh, uncapped competition is Marto's Magicians with 51,000 points. And Peanut Butters is in second there, and he's playing in the capped competition. So that's impressive. Cool, so what we're gonna do as we usually do, guys, is just review my team and see how it went. To be honest, this is the best score I've ever got. If I'll just scroll up slightly. I scored 2251. I, I I think that's by far and away the best score I ever got. My team really delivered. There was a few people that underperformed, uh, but as you can see, Dan Houston is putting together a really good season. Nick Newman had a fantastic game. It's good that I've got him in silver. Uh, Liam Duggan, that's a slightly quieter game by his standards. Tom Stewart was great on the bench. So that the back six there really, really did well. Luke Ryan, uh, possibly the best of all of them. The midfield let me down a little bit. I've had a little bit of trouble with getting the right plays in this midfield, and I keep putting Adam Trelaw on the bench. Why do I keep doing that? 162 from him. Lockie Newell obviously got well held against the Gold Coast. Sons and Jai Newcomb uh, was just down to 80 as well. Tim English went large, as did Rowan Marshall. That's been good for me all year. And the forward line has been the hardest part of the ground to get right. I've got Windhager in there. It was a bit of a risk. He, he turned up, so that's a, not a bad result. As you can see here, Taranto had a quiet game with 103. Goulden has proven to be the best, like, investment I've made this season, I would argue. Um, and Nick Martin, you know, 78, bit of a quiet game, but that's all right. We can scroll down here and you can actually see how well all my uh, reserve players did well. Obviously, Clayton Oliver didn't play. Remember these guys who are uh, platinum and gold and stuff like that, they cost more in salary cap, so they will need to perform really well for them to really crack my side. Anyone here really make an impact? Caleb Daniel with 52 is not ideal. Looks like I pretty much Almost had the best squad possible this week. Hayden Young, 108. Jaden Hunt, 142 in gold. He's a little bit up and down. I can't really trust uh, Jaden Hunt in my team as a gold player, but you know, it was a good uh, it was a good performance against North Melbourne. As we get down to the oranges, yeah, I need to get Laird back into my team. I wasn't sure if he was coming back this week, and I was in Scotland, so I kind of missed that. Dacos, uh, that's a pretty good bronze score as well. Anyone else that really uh, pressed a claim? Jarman Impey, 141. Goodness, that is a real outlier. Let's click on that. Yeah, as you can see, he's been up every second week. Oh, there's some pretty good results down there. Uh, he's a little bit inconsistent. Let's see who else. Now, scrolling down to the bottom there, not too much. You can see I got a double up of Jarman Impey. I got a, tumble, a double up of Tom Mitchell as well. Um, but we'll scroll up. And what we're going to do now is before I fix my team and make the changes necessary for this week, I've got another nine player pack to open. So there we go, guys. We've got nine players to unpack in this video. And uh, they're all going to be silver or better. And um, I've had some really good pack openings. And I've had some, you know, real average one. So it's a bit of a lottery, but we'll see how we go this week. Praying for some good forwards. Let's go one by one. Who have we got first? We have got Riley West in gold. It doesn't tell you what position yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. If he's a forward, that could be uh, decent in the future. Xavier O'Neill in silver. Man, that's probably not a, a good win because I don't know if Xavier O'Neill is going to have a list spot next year. James Aish in silver kind of has potential, but I'd imagine probably not going to be best 22 for me. Nan Curvis in gold, potentially. I've got him in bronze. I'd probably rather have him in bronze, to be honest. Aaron Francis in silver. Clayton Oliver in gold. Interesting. I've already got him in platinum, but it's actually nice to have both because uh, obviously the platinum version costs more. So if I'm tight for salary cap, I can downgrade the platinum Clayton Oliver for the gold Clayton Oliver. So I'm actually really happy with that. Who else we got? Michael Frederick, probably a swing and a miss there. 
Jake Lever in silver. Can't imagine he scores amazingly well in fantasy. And uh, Pat McCartan as well. Okay, so we're swinging a miss there. But what I probably got out of that is uh, potentially a more suitable Clayton Oliver to my list needs. At least it allows me to be versatile. And then we'll go and have a look at Riley West and Nankervis to see if they make my team. Cool. So this is a gold Nankervis here who uh, is averaging 141 in gold. So that's not bad, but I'm blessed with um, a Tim English and a Roel Marshall that are averaging about that, even though they're bronze. So it's not bad to have in the back pocket, I guess. Riley West is a forward, that's decent, but uh, only if he becomes a much better player in the future. But I suppose there's still that potential. Clayton Oliver in gold is a juicy one though. Obviously he hasn't played since round 10, so hopefully, you know, we see him back on the park as well, particularly for finals. But, you know, in terms of this, um, I'm quite glad to have a gold Clayton Oliver because it's cheaper. So I don't know if any of those guys will make my team, but what I might do is just uh, make some changes to my best 22. What I'm going to do is probably swatch, switch Newcomb for Laird because he's back in the team now. James H again, I didn't uh, didn't really strike goal with that one. Well, this took Miller as well to consider here. Who's averaging more out of Miller and, and Laird? Laird. So Laird's going to crack my team first up. Then what I'm going to do is swap Trelaw and Neil and get Neil on my bench. And Trelaw has really earned a best 22 spot for me this week. So there you go. I've optimized my midfield there. Trelaw's finally cracked a game. Watch his score plummet now that I've uh, put him into the best 22 at the expense of Neil. Watch Neil have a massive game this week. Is there anything I can do with my forward line? Uh, who is the weak link in this forward line? And the salary cap is full, so I don't have too much wiggle room. Um, is there anything I can do better than Nick Martin? I'm probably reluctant to change him at this point, but it's, it's worth a look. Gotta be a bronze player, and to be honest, I'm still bereft of options. That is continuing to be the hardest part of the ground to, uh, to cover, to be honest. Now, there you go. I might just make the couple of changes into my team this week. I'm looking forward to Clayton Oliver coming back. That's going to help a lot. Obviously, it's going to re involve some rejigging with that um, but that midfield. Maybe I have to ditch Dan Houston and play some cheaper defenders instead. Maybe that Silver Hayden Young. We'll see. But as always, guys, I look forward to you letting me know in the comments section how your team's going. Any tips and tricks for me? Obviously, I'm still learning. We all still are. It's a pretty new platform. But as always, I appreciate you guys joining. Appreciate you watching the content. Appreciate you subscribing. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.